Charles Wallingford back again with another cigar pairing and today I have a special pairing in this extra cold day. I was not expecting today to be this cold. Yes, it is the winter. Yes, it is January. But I looked at the weather report and said, oh, I can think I don't think I'll be fine. Well, that's not cigar smoke, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I have my fire pit rolling and I have my patio heater keeping me warm, so I'll be just fine. All right, let's get to what we're doing. We're having a cigar pairing with the 1502 XO. The 1502 XO was a cigar that everybody was talking about, everybody online, and I had to get on in on it. It was Lee Mack, you know, Cigar Obsession, uh, Tim Rollins, Cut Light Smoke, and of course, Cigar Vixen would first brought, brought this cigar to my attention. All did reviews, all had rave reviews about this cigar, and I said, I have to pair with this, and I have it. And this, like I said, is going to be a special pairing, but this special pairing is not special without the Distill Age Spirit this is the Dollamane. Dollamane Cognac. This is the EXO of the Dollamane Cognac. So EXO and EXO. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get back to you once this experience is drawing towards the end. And uh, I'll see you in a couple seconds for me. It'll be maybe an hour, 45 minutes, possibly more. All right, I'll see you then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm right in, right in the midst of the uh, second third. I don't know. I don't need to go into the last third to know if I have a great pairing or not. This has been a 95 pairing. A 95 pairing. That's really good. In order to get a 95 pairing, you have to do something special and extra. And I'll get into that once I talk about this cigar and this Distill A Spirit. So first off, let's talk about this 1502 XO. The 1502 XO, it's a Toro. Now, it's a one size to this. That's all you're going to get. It's a 1502 for the 1502 for 2017 or later on. I don't know where the next one is going to debut, but right now you're going to get a Toro size. Box press. I love a good box press. It's a sharp box press too. It's a medium full. The wrapper and binder, really don't know for sure, but Nicaraguan was written all over the wrapper. So definitely going to have Nicaraguan cigar uh, tobacco in here. This is an 18 dollar cigar so i would advise make sure you buy multiple you you seen or you're about to see if you do some research that everybody thinks highly of this cigar so buying a, at least a five pack will be worth it so buy a five pack that'd be the smart thing to do so far as flavors it reminds me of a carlos Turano exodus but a little bit better uh, it's a fantastic Maduro cigar, has many flavors, light cocoa, light cocoa, leather, earthy, and graham cracker. Graham cracker really came out with this pairing, and I'll talk about that right after I talk about this Dollamane. Dollamane, this is not the usual flavor that you get from a cognac. A cognac is more of a raisiny, redder flavor, if, if you could follow what I'm saying. It's a lighter flavor far as 
cognacs go. It's the XO, so you're definitely going to have a smoother product. Um, what I'm thinking or what I'm experiencing or what I have experienced, you're going to get butterscotch and apricot. That's what you're going to get. You don't usually get that with a Remy Martin, with a uh, 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 Hennessy or, or uh, Cavassier. No, you're not going to get that. You're getting a, like I said, apricot more so than that dried raisin, dried fruit flavor, fig and such. And that is what make this, made this uh, pairing work out. I tried a lot of cigars. I mean, I tried a lot of cognacs with this and I had to really dig deep and look and see what I had in, the, in my um, cabinet. And that's what I picked out, that Delamain XO. That's what worked good. When I initially uh, put these two together, like I said, I had a 9091. I did pick up a little bit of graham cracker, or I picked up more graham cracker. The amplification of flavor, that's what's important when you have a pairing. You want something to taste a little bit better. And yes, I got more graham cracker coming out of this cigar. But later on, once I got into the second third, I got vanilla. I got vanilla, oh yeah. I'm getting vanilla because of this pairing. And that's what makes, not to say Charles Wallingford different, but to make, that makes this uh, situation, this experience different. And wow, wow, I really, <laughs> I'm really happy to bring this to you and to have this, this experience. I have a great pairing a special pairing all right ladies and gentlemen that's the pairing that's the uh review i hope you enjoyed it and uh if you are interested in seeing more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video hit the like button and if you liked it you might as well subscribe oh you might as well <laughs> if you liked it you might as well share it and don't, I don't want to leave this out. I want, was trying to do this for a long time. I got this shirt right here, with Scotch, uh, Scotch Test Dummies. Please support your YouTubers. This is a great way to support your YouTubers by um, purchasing their uh, products. I have here the Scotch Test Dummies. I really go and look at their videos. They're very informative. They uh, do a really good job on their reviews. So check those guys out. They motivate me and get me going when it comes to my distilled A spirits because they don't just hit uh, single malt scotch. They hit everything as far as distilled A spirits. So check them out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Charles Wallingford. The Dollar Main Pale and Dry XO and the 1502 XO is how I spent my money.